Yeah, I had a bunch of bags left over, but it's still full. All right, so the way this thing functions is it has um, within six different steps, it basically goes over three different functions. During phase one, well, to run that back a little bit. Yeah, run it back. Inside of here are these little gold beads that's called resin. During phase one of the cycle, it starts to churn up the resin that's in here, bringing the uh, fresh resin from the bottom, bringing it up to the top, while simultaneously positively charging the particles that's inside the resin. That makes sense. During the second phase of the cycle, which is consisted of primarily like the third phase of the actual unit cycle, um, it draws in the salt water that's inside this tank. Down here, there's about a foot of salt water in there at all time, well, a foot of water in there at all time. Once it gets drawn up through this brine well right here, inside of here is a float mechanism, which that's what this is right here. Oh. As it's sucking the salt water from it down in here into here, it's making contact with that resin and a process called ionization takes place where basically what happens is the water is rejecting the calcium and magnesium that's naturally in the water, like whether it's well water or municipal water, which is what city and county water is. Oh, it is? Yeah. So it'll, it'll reject the calcium and magnesium that's in the water, and it'll instead take the sodium molecule from the salt. So not the salt itself, but that molecule that's inside the salt. So where does salt go? Let me get to that. Okay, okay. So then during the third phase of the unit which would on this i believe is the fifth is the fifth positioning on it mm -hmm. um it does like a deep clean which is kind of what's taking place during the fourth fifth and kind of sort of the sixth position as well mm -hmm. it does like a deep clean on the water mm -hmm. and then from there you have uh the allotted amount of soft water now mm -hmm. with that being said during that whole time that it's doing that cleaning, through this thicker black hose right here. I see here, it right there, yeah. This thicker black hose right here, mm -hmm. that's purging out all the quote unquote crud water the oh. entire time of its cycle. For real? Which is why wherever that's running to, if like, it, the hose is actually yeah, running so, so, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. But that's why when you hear it running, if you were yourself to come out here and touch it, you would feel the water shooting through the entire time because that whole time is helping to clean the water. So it's pushing out all the quote unquote crud. So it's actually cleaning the water? Yes. Sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. All right. And that's how it functions. Now, with that being said, one of the first things that I need is a water sample. Okay. So if you could get me one cold side of the tap, fill it about halfway. Okay. So what are we doing? I'm doing a softness test. Oh, uh -huh. so now we'll see if, if it's getting soft or is it just me? Which it is. Now, we could also do one from the hot side because the cold side is what's currently in your pipes right now. Mm -hmm. So that can sometimes test different than what the hot water is because the hot water is wherever your hot water yeah. tank is. That's what's stored inside of there. And depending on how many people in the house and how much water you guys use, it can store anywhere from the last couple of days to like the last week or so. Okay. You know, so you know it's softening because of the sugs? Correct. Now, the reason why we know that <clears throat> is this right here is like a generic soap, like hospital soap. If oh, I can, it is? Yeah. If I can put a drop in here, like like just a drop, if I can put a drop in here, shake it, and it bubbles into a fine film like this, and it holds, mm -hmm. then that means that it's devoid of any calcium and magnesium. One of two things will happen in the contrary. If there was any calcium or any magnesium that was in the calcium primarily though, um, it would bubble like this, but almost immediately the bubbles would start to dissipate. Oh, they will? Right. And what that would mean is that A, either your water is soft but getting hard, or on the reverse, it's hard but getting soft. Now, with that being said, that in itself opens up like a whole nother can. So I'm good right something. now. Yeah, as okay. far as this is concerned though, your water's soft, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. All right. Like I said, though, if you want, um, because I know you said that it's been feeling like it has... Oh, go get some hot? Do it from the hot. Let the water heat up until okay. you can fill it, and then... Okay, I'll go back. For the last three years. Say, you know that off the top of your dome. Yeah. Most people don't know it like that now. <laughs> All right, now, if you could step forward a little bit. Now, 
For this, say if I wanted to run it through a test cycle, which is something that I would do coming here, you would, let me go out. All right, record? Yeah, yeah. All right, so you would press the down arrow, you would go down to six, which is diagnostics, and you would go down to five, which is the motor controls. Then you would just press the check button, making sure that it's at the motor position one. Press the check button, it'll go through the whole cycle performing each one of the, the actions that I told you that it would do, but it's doing it in a shorter time frame than what it then normally not, would yeah. when it runs. Right? Yeah. And this is just kind of how we know, like say if it was an actual issue with the unit, it would lock up at some position. Oh, it would? It would just keep running. And at that point we know, okay, we got a problem. Or as stated, if I was to do the, the soap test, and it didn't come up right. Okay, now that opens up a whole nother line of questioning oh, okay. that I would have for you as well as while I'm dealing with the unit. Now, as you saw, it went all the way through. So from there, I could just go back home, but I can show you in the information, uh, the remaining capacity is 100%, uh, and that translates over to 437 um, gallons. The current flow rate is zero. That would probably be because your um your flow meter might not be connected, which oh. that's not a problem because some units are just set on strictly days as opposed to um like going off of gallons and whatnot. And this would mean that yours is set off of days instead of gallons. Okay. Um so its next region is actually tomorrow. Okay. Yep. Um, so far, you guys have used 97,924 gallons of water since the unit's been installed here. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Pretty decent. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to see Man, my wife, she was on me. You want to pull some out? Hey, man, you did an outstanding job, bro. This brother know his thing, man. You know, you know it like I know real estate. That's how I talk about real estate off the top of my home. That's what we do real estate. Yeah, I would just we flip houses. That. My wife's a realtor. We do it all. So it's still good. Yes, sir. Raffer Homes on YouTube, right here. Raffer Homes, all you gotta do is type in Raffer Homes, take a picture of that. On YouTube, you'll see all the houses I flip, or my team flip. Just go to YouTube, type in that Raffer Homes. You'll see what's going. This weekend we was in a couple four, uh, $4 million house, another about a 1.8 million. Thanks, dog. No so you got, you got my route now? Sir. All right, yes, cool, sir. cool, yeah, cool. All right, man, I'm your homeboy, man. I'm great. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. All right, my man. Color Good Water came through. Man, I, said, I like that. My man came through, gave me a breakdown. Now I know how to purge my own system. I can do my own thing over here. My system good. It's rolling. All right, y'all got to call us, man. Miss Rafford the Realtor and Rafford Homes. Yeah, yeah. Got the ice, I ain't have to get no ice today.